Hello! Welcome to our channel, The, the Tasty, Tasty Twins. Twins. Coming to you today with another food fusion. Philly cheesesteak, animal style fries. Philly, Philly cheesesteak, cheese animal style fries. Let's yeah. stop. This is just way too long. Let's just call it Philly cheesesteak fries. Let's get started! Since the fries take the longest, we're gonna start with them. We wash our potatoes very well, cause we love them skin on. Generally, you want high starch potatoes for mashed potatoes to help with the texture and low starch potatoes for french fries so that it's easier to wash. We're gonna cut our fries to our desired thickness. We're ready to boil our fries. As you guys have noticed, my cutting board was actually sliding while I was cutting the french fries and that is pretty dangerous. An easy fix is for you guys to put a damp towel under your cutting board so it stops sliding. We used yellow flushed potatoes which generally don't have much starch so they were very easy for us to wash. We're gonna boil the potatoes in salted water with about a quarter cup of vinegar for about 4 minutes until the potatoes soften a bit but are still sturdy. Potatoes are ready, they're still holding themselves, but I can still poke them with my fork. Now we're gonna drain the potatoes and dry them on kitchen towel. Authentic Philly cheesesteak uses cheese whiz, so we're making our own cheese whiz sauce. The sauce is really simple, it's gonna start with a basic bechamel, which comprises of 3 tablespoons of butter, 2 tablespoons of flour and half a cup of milk, and now we're gonna add 3 tablespoons of our cheese whiz and half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Here are boiled potatoes which we've dried, now we're going to put them in the air fryer on 400 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Leave the seasoning until the end so we don't burn the garlic powder. By the way, we're going to season it with salt and garlic powder. Let's cut some onions into wings. Just finished sharpening the knife, finally, time for the beef. Here is a top sirloin steak which I just took out from sitting 30 minutes in the freezer to firm up so we could cut it into thin slices. Make sure to cut the meat across the grain for ultimate tenderness. Wait, what do you mean by across the grain? Okay, so grains in the meat are those lines you see running across the meat. You want to cut across those. So after we cut it, we're just going to take it and then sear it on a high heat pan until it gets a very nice color on both sides then season it with salt and pepper and then we're just gonna add our onions, saute them and then put back the beef, mix it together and that's it. Let's assemble!
Let's taste. Whoa. Mm -mm. No, ah, that was tasty. Wow, that sauce is perfect. I love how the salty cheesiness of the cheese whiz is perfectly complemented with the extra creaminess from the bechamel sauce. And the fries, of course, soft and pillowy on the out oh, inside, <laughs> crispy on the outside. And I love the extra touch of the garlic powder. And the beef really is really meaty. And the onions really add that richness and umami flavor. And the black pepper really shines through it. Man, those fries brought out the animal in me. Wow. Well, that was it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and comment down below what you guys want to eat next time. Bye! Bye.